Hello. You found the Red Heifer logos website. This is the Red Heifer. Um, the red represents uh, Lower Egypt. It was the black soil um, that emerged out under the sunlight. Uh, Egypt is the Red Heifer, uh, the one united oxide of heaven and earth. Um, it is the sacrificial waters of Egypt that cleanses everything from touching the body of death. And we know that is a continual process. Egypt um, is and was the mastership in which the master human kingdom was formed. And it was that same womb that held and does hold all the seeds of creation. Logos means word. So this website is all about what the original scrolls have to say to us. Scrolls that are 3,000 years old, more or less. Now these ancient scrolls were used to translate the KJB, that is the King James Bible. You will never find the stories by reading the King James Bible but you cannot discover them without the King James Bible and the James Strong Exhaustive Concordance, which is a numbering system that bridges the two, the original scrolls with the translation in the KJB. Now, the fascinating to me is that the concepts that were laid down 3,000 years ago by the one human pen are not surprising to us today. We understand the Big Bang, the expanding of the universe, we understand that everything is energy that does not die, that it continually expresses in different forms and ways. We understand math and how it works to reveal secrets. Now there are a lot of secrets held behind closed doors of religious habits. Habits of, of using only a very tiny portion of those original writings and then forcing them into today's language. In the process, we lose the creation story. Now, to discover what the human pen recorded requires uh, using only the original word meanings. To mix that with the KJB words creates mongrels. And mongrels have an unknown heritage. The master human kingdom has a defined source and a heritage easily understood when speaking in the original meanings of the letters and numbers and words as they were intended to be understood in the day they were written. Now this is a simple process, but it's a labor intensive process. Every single word in the original scrolls must be taken on its own merit, its own meaning, and its placement on its own word tree. We can never assume any word translated in KJB means what we think it means, nor that it always means the same thing, nor that it came from the same source, because most likely none of those things are true. Now, all the added words for grammar purposes must be ignored. And there are some words that appear only one time. They are keys. They are links. And then there are some words that appear only a few places. And they are links in the chain that help us understand in a fuller way what that word meant. And it, they also help define the building blocks of the evolution of the universe. Now, Words are conspicuous positions, but they're treated in KJB and interpreted as names of humans, places, and objects. This can be misleading and create rabbit trails into deep dark woods. Once we interpret humanity where it does not yet exist, we fall into Babylon, confusion of languages. This forces us then to create places on the map instead of places in the human temple body. Well, I hope you enjoy the blogs and will be intrigued to become a subscriber. Then you have access to more depth. How deep depends on the depth of your subscription. Now, I'm, I will be offering one-on-one -on -one and small group discussions so that we can explore these things and discover that unbroken umbilical red cord of humanity. We are the master human kingdom. We're the firstborn ruling as gods, learning how to master self, not other. The master human kingdom is seed that came from the other side. It was carried in the black fertile soil, humiliated under the creation's icy waters. It was the seed that grew in the womb of the red earth exposed to the sunlight. It was the seed that sprouted in lower Egypt through a little earthquake. It grew in upper Egypt heaven, sustained by nourishment of lower Egypt, red earth. 
and it was birthed into the dry desert as the master human king ruling his gods. Now this statement is translated in KJB as Eber, Hebrew, Egyptian, Israel, and then interpreted as if these words refer to special individuals. Not so. There's only one master human kingdom and one pen of the master human kingdom. The human pen has recorded what the depths of the soul knows to be true. The question is, did the pen prophesy 3,000 years ago and it came to pass? Or was it simply recording the deep knowledge of what always has been? A deep knowing without the evidences of today through math, science, medicine, and all other means of discovery. Alpha and Omega are the same point on the circle, but that does not negate all that the circle contains. The universe developed from a single perfect stem cell, able to replicate, reproduce, duplicate, heal, and differentiate into all the molecular energy forms of the universe. The master human kingdom came from that perfect stem cell. It was passed down generation to generation, mother to child, using the universal energy of the circular mitochondria DNA. This is the unbroken red thread, the umbilical cord attached to source. Please enter in and find refreshing good news. We are the divine firstborn child, perfect in all ways. We are seed from the other side of a little earthquake. We can come out of the confusion of languages if we need to. The given servants of peace came out of the confusion and rebuilt the temple body. We can discover our own place of waking. Yah's salvation said that all that was done and more, we were gonna do. Are we ready for the window of light 2012? Will we, the light, pass through or be consumed in darkness? I thank you for visiting um, this website. I hope you'll visit often, and I want to wish you a glorious life.